Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Garrett with The Cage, and we're starting up Mass Effect Andromeda on the PS4 Pro. And I'm super excited. I'm a huge Mass Effect fan. I, I've played through 1, 2, and 3 more times than I want to admit uh, I, I, on multiple systems. I think this is going to be an awesome game. I'm going to try to hold my reserve a bit just in case, but let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to play as Sarah Ryder just because it gives us an option from the get-go. Obviously, in the original Mass Effect trilogy, you played as Commander Shepard, uh, which was male, and then later on they added in female. I'm going to play as a female from the start, just for differences. So, just so everyone knows, these episodes will last right around the 15 to 20 minute mark. Uh, so, just enough time for you guys to really get into it. Let's go and get started. Every great moment in our history began with a dream. Each bold leap forward was achieved by those willing to do anything to attain it. We are, all of us, leaving behind families, homes, the very birthplace of our species. Some for discovery, to see the unknown, others for a new start. But today, whatever our reasons, we take the first steps toward a new future for humanity. Today, we begin to make our dream reality. Cue the title screen. Deep breaths. You're gonna wanna take it easy. I've been taking it easy for 600 years. <laughs> Ryder, Sarah, recon specialist, Pathfinder mission team. Pathfinder team, eh? The ones finding us a home. Can you make it somewhere tropical? Nice, warm ocean, summer year-round? How about we get her a cup of coffee first? Sarah Ryder, let's get you checked out. Look here. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates for Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. 
Now you are a part of the first wave of arcs arriving in Andromeda, our new home for humanity. Makes it sound so easy, doesn't it? <laughs> Ooh. Let's go that way. I hope not. Signed up for a little adventure before we settle down. Well, buckle up. Sounds like you'll get your wish. Yeah? Over here now, the Pathfinder wants you all on your feet right away. He said mission ready within the hour. Any idea why? No, but I'm guessing that's where your adventure comes in. Okay, everything checks out. Just one more thing before I send you on your way. Let's test your SAM implant. Sam, are you monitoring? Sam, are you online? Yes, Dr. Tapero. Good morning, Sarah. Are you feeling well? Um. I feel like a 600-year-old popsicle. I hope we pack more coffee. Readings confirmed. Based on the levels of adenosine in your system, the neural implant is functioning properly. Wait, adeno what? It just means you're still shaking off your nap. No reason why we can't get you on your way. Though you may want to hang around while we revive your brother. It always helps to see a familiar face. I don't like the sound of that. Oh, shit. Oh, well, hello. What the hell? Who was driving the place? What's happening? It broke free. Just hang on. Engineering, report. Gravity crowd is offline. <laughs> Everyone's just kind of floating around. I'm almost inside. Hold on. This is Cora. I'm at the cryo bay. Brace for a reset. <sighs> Everyone okay? I think so. What happened? We're not sure. Sensors are scrambled. But it's good to see you're up. Feels like centuries since we spoke. This is the Pathfinder. Mission teams continue preparations. Cora, riders, report to the bridge. You heard him. Let's get- Uh, we have a problem over uh -oh. here. Uh-oh. That's her brother. It's Scott Ryder. <laughs> What's wrong? I don't know. Have to check it out. Did the seals break? Sarah, is my brother okay? Scott's fine. His vitals are strong, but the revival procedure was interrupted. When can he wake up? We don't want to rush it. Sam? My connection to Scott's implant was suspended. However, his pulse, respiration, and brain activity are all normal. To be on the safe side, we'll need to keep him in a low-level coma for a while. Then let his body regain consciousness naturally. He'll be fine. Glad to hear it. Thanks, Lexi. You keep us updated. Ryder, I'll wait for you at the door whenever you're ready to go. All right. Pretty cool so far. Gravity loss means something should be generated. You ready? What's wrong? Got a surge of power reading. Whoa, what the? Has a scanner. Quick rider, use it to locate the fault. On it. I'll try to get readings on the second conduit. I'll try to run get on. Whoa. I'll override the safeties. Got it. There's no indication of a fault in this component. Relay 2C shows damage from a temperature spike. Found it. Bad relay. Rider, can you go reset it? Yeah, I can reset it. I'm I'm quite capable. It's reset.
Good job, Ryder. Now we can get to the tram. All right, let's get moving to the tram. <laughs> what a way to wake up. Shit's popping off, yo. That was close. Okay? Barely in an Andromeda, and we're already scrambling. The adventure begins. Not sure your dad will see it that way. Go ahead and take us to the brig. Helm control, report. We're drifting. Flight controls aren't responding. First priority is stopping these outages. Mainline power's been knocked out. We're on reserves, Captain. They won't last. What's our position? Unknown. We lost telemetry. Sam, we need eyes out there. Attempting to adjust sensor array. Alec, please. You may be Pathfinder, but this is my ship. Captain, the protocol's clear. In the absence of communication with the Nexus or the other arcs, we proceed to our appointed Golden World. Solid ground. If it's even out there. Nobody said anything about running into an energy cloud. And that's just a wild guess what we hit. Alec, I need to assess the damage. Stop the bleeding. We've got 20,000 people asleep on this ship. Let's give them a chance to wake up. Can you blame her? Oh, why, why do I get the decision on this? Like, I, I just woke up. Um... She is the captain. I think she gets the final word. Well, he might. This isn't about having the final word. Yes, sir. We're coming through. My God. Is that our golden world? That's Habitat 7. New Earth, if we're lucky. All of our long-range scans told us it was in the green zone. Perfect for human settlement. It doesn't even look the same. Oh, let's be positive here. We don't know how bad it is yet. Still seems like it's our best shot. Maybe. There's just a lot on the line. Sam? The energy from the phenomenon is dumping our senses. Planetary conditions are on there. That's a huge storm going on down there. We're marooned. 20,000 souls adrift at sea. And when the power runs out and stays out, we need to know if that's safe harbor. And if it's not... As Pathfinder, it'll be my job to find an alternative. It's what we trained for. But if this goes well, we are already home. All right, just make it quick. Harper, the rest of the team should be awake by now. Have them spin up two shuttles. Planet Fallen 30. Yes, sir. A stubborn one, isn't he? Stubborn runs in the family. Guess I rubbed off on him. Just as long as he knows what he's doing. It's not like the cavalry's coming to save the day. I need an ETA on our sensor repairs. We're blind out here. Brother's going to hate that he missed this. Are all the riders adrenaline junkies? I guess it's in our blood. I was born a minute ahead of him. I never let him forget it. Don't worry. I'm sure Scott will pull through. Yeah, and when he does, he'll want to hear stories. So, let's get out there and find him one. All right. Right, you'll want to get your helmet. And maybe stop at the good luck rock before we go. The what? It's an old superstition of your dad's. Put on a helmet here. Got it. That should do it. The Pathfinder is now requiring sidearms. I've opened the armaments locker. Are we expecting trouble, Sam? A precaution. Please arm yourself, Ryder. All right. Damage control team to deck three. 
Better safe than sorry. Pistol? You never know. Now let's get to the shuttles. All sorts of good collectibles here already. Crashing the party, huh? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Ryder? Hey, Fisher. How's it going? I heard a rumor from the bridge that your dad and the, the captain, captain aren't seeing eye to eye on this. Update on our sensor already. Please report in as soon as possible. She wasn't thrilled with the idea of the expedition. My dad won her over. I heard you weren't a big fan of it either. It's her ship, her call. You got guts going against the old man. The way I see it, the Pathfinder team answers to the Pathfinder. Besides, your dad's the N7 here. This is the He's got the best aim. I, I go wherever he goes. Please report in as soon as possible. Water cooler? Get a drink. Better not. No bathroom breaks in this room. <laughs> All right, let's get rolling. <laughs> so just another boring day at the office, huh? I figure it's a chance to show everyone what we can do. Go out there and earn our stripes. You're Alex's daughter, all right. I always wondered what it was like when explorers crossed the ocean. Nothing but stars and dead reckoning to guide them. And a map that said, here be dragons. Well, if they made it, we can too. And maybe see a dragon along the way. Never know. Let's keep an eye out. And our distance. <laughs> On that note, time to get to the shuttle. Alright guys, that seems like a good place to wrap it up, and we'll pick it up in the next episode. Thank you all for watching, I really do appreciate it. If you can, give the video a like, it helps out quite a bit. Also, check out the channel, I've seen tons of videos going on over there. Until next time, you guys, stay frosty.